Jamie, pull up that video. Jamie, pull up. Jamie, pull up. Jamie, pull up that video. Hello, every motherfucker in the city, ah! in the whole country, on, in the stupid. fucking world, in the whole universe. <laughs> nice What's up? Nice. It's a nice dog podcast. Nice. I'm Austin. This is Robbie. Woo! We're the hosts. Uh, you know how we do it. We, it's live, motherfucker. It's fucking live. We're live. We couldn't stay away from each other. We, we had to keep the show on the road, baby. And uh, uh, we're doing it, baby. Essential status over here. Six uh, feet apart, <laughs> everything's mandated by the governor, Jumbel Edwards himself. Yeah, we got we got the Germex. <laughs> Look, we should probably start off. So we start off every pod with a little squirt of Germex sponsored. You can use the code Germex50 and you, it'll get you Germex full price. <laughs> <laughs> it might even be more expensive Thank than you. usual. Uh, yeah, and they will probably actually not sell it to you then. Yeah, I, it, it's, it, that's an invalid code. I, I just made that up. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, so glad to be back though yeah. We're happy It's uh, April 27th And it will be coming out the same day We're doing this shit live baby It's a good It's a good feeling in there I think that it's. Uh, you yeah. just gotta look at the positives You go outside it's and a beautiful the, the birds day. are chirping Like you know just yeah. enough clouds To where yeah. it doesn't make you feel like You're living in a simulation <laughs> and then, like every once in a while, you just go outside. And you're like, all right, I guess they forgot to turn the clouds on today. Like, what the fuck? Uh, I don't, where do they go? It's really, <laughs> it's really looking beautiful outside. <laughs> <laughs> or just like, dude, somebody left the moon on. Like, it's it's noon. I'm looking at the moon. Like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> No, sometimes it's like too peaceful outside and like there's nobody moving. I'm getting so used to nobody being out on it's the streets. Nice. It's nice. It's very nice. Dude, I, uh, the traffic has never been better. But it's about to be over. We're about to be going back to work and I, everything. And I, have an insider, I have some insider information, actually. What? Uh, yeah. I'm popping have, off. I have, it, it, from an inside source, I heard that we're going to be going till at, at least May 15th. Oh, okay. So, I mean, that's not that. it's not that bad, but... That's uh, not that bad, but you can know, you trust this person? I trust. I trust. It's a trusted source from the inside of the government. Um, nice. Johnny Bell actually nice. called me. Nice. Uh, <laughs> nice. He was discussing. He's like, "What do you think we should do?" And you know, I was like, "Eh, give, give it another couple of weeks. Should yeah. be should be good." And so, well, uh, speaking of, I mean, we could call the Doctor Cox. Uh, he was gonna give us an update. Yeah, well, about I, like yeah, I love Dr. Cox. This is a very special uh, special episode we have here, but we're going to give the Dr. Cox a ring. Yeah, it's and, a, it's uh, nice to have uh, friends in high places. You yeah, know? We'll, we'll see how the update is with the corona. You've talked to John Bell Edwards, and we'll see yeah. what, what the doctor so thinks. It's some old lady. Hello. Uh, sup, bitch? You're on the Nice Dog Podcast. <laughs> Yeah, Good not, dog or bad dog, motherfucker. We're not doing that now or anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. So uh, we'll get a doctor update from Dr. Cox himself. Has a PhD. Okay. Is He's a, a, a gynecologist. Hello? Correct? Hey, Dr. Cox, you're on the Nice Dog Podcast. How are you doing today? Doing all right. Walking my dog. It's a beautiful day. Got a hat on. Oh, Ooh, dude, nice. hat. Yeah. See, you know. Yeah, dude, I've been wearing this really nice, uh, you know those, like, gardener hats that have, like, the rim all the way around it? Yeah. Yeah, dude, uh, all the way around. Yeah. That's, yeah. Yeah, it's all the way around. It's is great. it like. Yeah, no, I look like I'm going to the farm. Is it, like, is it more of a bucket hat or more of, like, an Asian rice paddy kind of hat? <laughs> I guess it's more of a bucket hat. It doesn't have the, um. Those the laced the laced grass like I guess the Asian rice paddy people right. have. Right? Do you, do you have it's straps a, on? Like, what if it gets windy? I'm a little concerned. No, it definitely has a strap. No, okay, no wind good, today, good, good. So, so the strap isn't tight. But I can look. You know what? I'll tighten it up. I know you can't see it, but safety first. Now it's tight. Yeah, no, you got to be safe. Um, yeah, we, we wanted safe. to get an update on the corona. On the corona. What do, yeah. What do you think the situation when is? When you're Since not you are walking a doctor, the dog, how is the hospital going? 
Oh, the hospital's a wreck, man. Like, there's, there's people dying, like, in the hallways, you know. Some guy, I saw got some guy, didn't even have an arm. Don't know where it went. Oh, Damn, my. was that was that so, coronavirus oh related? or? I think it's one of the newer symptoms. I know the CDC came out with, like, these new symptoms, like, of, of pre-COVID-19. And I, uh, I, think, I think not having a left arm is one of them. <laughs> Dude, wow. Jeez. So, it just... Is it more like a spontaneous combustion of the yeah. arm, or does it just kind of like fall off? Or could have been too much masturbating at home in these hours of masturbation. Yeah, I'm getting a little worried because I am a lefty. So you know, it might be it might be a mixture. One second, Lily, come on, let's go. Oh God, there's a car coming after us. Hold on. That's Woo, probably we're in an alley. It's all right, the FBI. All right, cool, he cool. shouldn't be talking on the podcast. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's a very dangerous time. I got to make sure everyone's away from me. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure what's causing the, the missing arm thing, but uh, I'm sure I'm sure our people are on it. Nice. On, on a, a related note, do you think that we actually went to the moon? Do I think we went to the moon? Yeah, I, um, I don't know. I'm starting to think, think about it. I think. <laughs> what's your give me? I think we went to the moon only because I feel like it's a lot of effort to explain that we didn't go. Oh, no, and definitely. so I feel like it's easier to, yeah, I feel like it's a lot easier to be it to explain how we did go. That's what someone in the so case would sense. say. Yeah, that's exactly. That's what, uh, that's what the government would want you to think. Yeah, I don't know if I believe you on that, Nick. I believe you <laughs> know medical things, but I don't know about the moonage. I don't know about the moonage. Uh, well, explain, explain your, your reasoning behind the no, uh, uh, not it's, going to the moon thing. Number one, the moon very far away, dude. Not easy to get to. Very true. Uh, number two, why? What's what's your motivation <laughs> to go to the moon? Out of all of the things, why the moon? Uh, there's nothing there. Right. There's no cheese. We we found that out. That's a made up story. There, there's nothing well, on, the on the moon. Uh, the moon? There might be cheese on the other side. And then what? Now they're just saying that the the rover on the moon just disappeared. Something like that. I mean, I might have just made that up. I don't know. Is that what they're saying? Okay, yeah, no, I hadn't heard that one yet. Well, let, let's look at it like this. Like, well, the moon is where we're going to send the homeless eventually. So why the fuck, you know? Let's not even <laughs> go there. Because obviously we all know what the end route of this is going to be. Like, what the moon was built for. All right? So that's a whole fuck subject. It was a itself. teleportation device. You know, Nick, I mean, Dr. Cox, I'm, why do we even call <laughs> you about medical advice when all we get is blabbermouth and more CDC bullshit? You know, I'm sorry. Dude, you're that- honestly, you're... You guys are really lucky that I even answered because it, the call ID said from Denim Springs. I never talked to anybody from Denim Springs. So <laughs> there was a there was a twenty percent chance I would pick up the phone and I did. So, uh, <laughs> hey, well we're really happy that yeah. you did. We're glad that the uh the news well, I guess I'm popping off. It, it's bad news, actually. Uh yeah, we're Sorry to hear that the situation is that bad, and uh, everybody watch out for your left arms, folks. Yeah, uh, but we yeah, really no, do appreciate it, Dr. Important. Cox. We really do appreciate it, and uh, I mean, bless up to you and your nice Farmer Brown hat, and I hope you have a pleasurable walk, the rest of your walk. Thank you very much, gentlemen. I'll, uh, I'll come back anytime. All right, take it easy, Dr. Cox. And I don't even drink Corona. Bye, guys. Dude, I think that, uh... I think he's fucked. I think he's fucked, dude. He's obviously a shill. He's obviously... He was talking about the FBI coming after him. He's obviously Fear been working green, for him. Fear-mongering, dude, he, he, with this left arm bullshit. I, I didn't know. believe that for a second. Yeah, that was bullshit. You can really tell when someone's making something up. Yeah, exactly. It's almost like that whole conversation was full of misinformation. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> But anyway, you know, Anyways, it's the Nice Dog Podcast. Nice dog podcast. Do we want to talk about anything local? Because it's all depressing. Uh, uh, it's all, I mean, it's all depressing with the cops shooting, I mean, getting I'm shot. I'm excited to get to the world news today, but uh, yeah, what, well, cops we, getting shot? I mean, that is in other news. There's two cops that got shot yesterday, and then someone else did. Nice. But you know who the real attention whore is? Tony Spell is still being a fucking... Hashtag arrest me when he is arrested with me as their shepherd. He's still being an attention whore, getting all the media. So if we haven't caught y'all up most recently, like he's literally in the news every day. He tried to back into a protester with a bus. So then he gets uh, on trial. He's on house arrest. Then on Sunday, last Sunday, he goes out and he's fucking preaching. He goes out to his church when he's supposed to be in house arrest. Dude, okay, this is, it's this is all just 
I, I feel like a PR stunt, you know? It's a huge PR stunt. Because, uh, I don't know, what, yeah, just wait a couple more weeks. When Jesus can arrested. wait. He'll still be there. He's risen indeed. He'll be there in a couple of weeks. And I think he's just loving this attention, loving oh, the attention that his church is getting. Loving it. He's and absolutely loving it. Man, I just really don't like this guy. Yeah, you can all, you, like, you can always tell whenever somebody's just being an attention whore. And yeah, he's being one. There's a picture. Can we pull up that last picture? Uh, yeah, that one. There's a picture. Okay, so remember the last video we showed when he was asking for all the stimulus money and he was on the banks of Mississippi? With me as your shepherd. Hashtag yeah, no, I, stimulus yeah. money. <laughs> so then when he gets arrested, his, her, his, his wife comes bail him out and it says, it's a meme of her, when your evangelist husband dupes old people out of their stimulus check then is arrested for assault with a deadly weapon, and you bail him out flashing wads of money. So for you audio listeners, his wife is flashing out wads of cash at the the uh, police department, smiling with a Damn, smirk. Damn, dude, she looks like she's in a fucking rap video with all those hundreds, man. That's what I'm saying, dog. Hey, okay, he arrested whenever, with me as whenever you see those rap videos, and they'll just have, like, a stack of, like, it, what seems like $10,000. Yeah. They're just, like, you know, like, throw it on the ground, and then... I just always like to imagine, like, after they say cut, and then, like, they have to, like, go and, like, pick up all the <laughs> money, like, one by one, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. hey, like, but make sure I got, I know how much this was. Y'all don't, don't be sticking it in your pockets, yeah. man. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like he, he's leaving the rap video. Hey, who cleaned that up? Yeah, like, like dude, I, we definitely had 10000 whenever we started. <laughs> this, is, this is 980 like. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean. Just uh, these these big evangelist guys, man. I feel like that none of them are ever very good people. Like that, uh, what, the Joel Olstein guy, you know, where he's like uh, talking about. I don't. Maybe we talked about this on the podcast before. Whenever he was, he's talking about his airplane, and he's like, "I need the airplane, yeah, so yeah, that yeah, I, yeah. I don't, we don't have to be in the." In the same airplane as demons. Yeah. Have yep. you seen the most recent ones with him? I think it is with the corona. That's I blow away the yeah, coronavirus. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Corona, be gone. <laughs> <laughs> that guy? Uh, no, maybe it's it's a different one. Yeah, it's an older guy. Yeah. And he he kind of looks like the troll from that movie. I don't know. He looks like a troll. Dude, he looks straight up demonic, son. Oh, straight like, up. I don't know how you can't just look at that guy and take one good look and just be like, all right, this guy. I need to give this guy money. Yeah. I, want- <laughs> I, I don't really get it, man. Uh, Hashtag. In other me. news, the Jews, I heard they're doing pretty good for themselves these days. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. What what happened? Uh, I, I mean, they're unproportionably in you know positions like doctors and bankers and lawyers. Uh, <laughs> 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 it's the disproportionate. I mean, really, the numbers are staggering. Uh, oh, wow. Doing pretty well for themselves. Wow. Okay. Well, I've been thinking about converting. <laughs> they said no. <laughs> <laughs> They're not about it. Dude, I heard uh, Ben Shapiro say something. He's Jewish, you know? He's yeah. talking about it. He's like uh, very religious. And he's like, the way that, reason that you know that Judaism, like they're right, like they're, they're God's chosen people, no Jews are ever trying to convert you. You know, they're never <laughs> they're like, they're, they, 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 they're like, we're doing our thing. Like, we don't really care about y'all. Y'all are all fucked. <laughs> like, no Jews, like, dude, really? You should become Jewish. They're like, yeah, no, dude, dude they're, we're, we're right. We're like, we're doing our own thing. Like, we got it, y'all. <laughs> it's too late for you guys. Yeah. That's so true. They're never like, yeah, you should totally become Jewish. No, they, no, they're actually very much against it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man so in world news Eminem donates mom spaghetti to healthcare workers in Detroit during Corona's outbreak what? he's handing out spaghetti to people that are working and he calls it mom spaghetti which is pretty fucking that's awesome that's fucking hilarious Dude, was there vomit on his sweater already? <laughs> <laughs> but if you can, I mean, you can see there's packages of spaghetti and it says mom spaghetti on it. <laughs> That's funny as fuck. Dude, I wonder if, if Eminem's mom really had like fire spaghetti, you uh, know? I mean, she was in that trailer park. He's not know? even Italian. <laughs> <laughs> Is he? No, I don't I think, don't think so. so. No, I think he might just really like spaghetti. 
And then, uh, uh, you know, the whole meme with mom spaghetti. Your mom spaghetti. Hey, yeah. put my laptop. Mom, mom spaghetti. spaghetti. Mom spaghetti. spaghetti. Sweater on a vomit already. I wonder if we can hear that. Hear what? Oh, yeah, that song. I think this is not copyright. Mom spaghetti. Oh, no, this yeah. isn't copyright. Yeah. To capture. Oh, dude, way. this just gets me hyped. Yeah. His arms spaghetti, knees weak, arms spaghetti, his vomit on a sweater spaghetti. Mom's spaghetti, he's nervous, <laughs> nervous. But on the surface, he looks calm spaghetti. He drops palms, but he keeps uh, on spaghetti. Uh. Yeah, dude, yeah, that's, that's a banger. That's fucking awesome. I remember that, yeah. yeah. I love that one. So, shout out to him. Keep doing your thing, man. Yeah, I remember the first time that I heard that remix. Like, I thought I was just listening to the song. I'm like, dude, am I fucking high right now? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like, you just... Yeah, dude, you're like... like yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is, this is rich. Uh, a $5,000 bet. $500,000. $500,000 in debt incurred when three games of rock, rock paper, scissors... Uh, were called invalid in the Quebec court. Okay, so let me break it down. There was a three games of rock, paper, scissors these two people had. That was for $500,000. <laughs> he loses the $500,000, has to take out a mortgage for home for his house, and then goes to court. Wait, then, so was it was it just a verbal, uh, fi- like uh, just a man's bet? Like they just shook on it? Like yeah, it they shook on it. It was a classic hand. It was a classic game. They shook on it. And he had to take out a mortgage to pay off the debt that he owed because of this game. So he took it to court and they, they said that he doesn't have to pay the money anymore. Yeah, so yeah, they took it to court and the Supreme Court canceled the mortgage in 2007, which was appealed. So he, they canceled it because it was excessive amount of money for you know a game by chance is what they ruled. It was a game by chance. Dude, it, it, rock, paper, scissors is no game of chance, all right? Said, there's there's stra- there's mental just strategy to that game. <laughs> you know, you got to think, okay, this person did this last time. What are they going to do now? Like, are they going to bluff and hit the same one again? Or are they going to, like, you know, like... Yeah? I'm pretty good at rock, paper... Hey, all right. Yeah, I mean... Let's get a little Rochambeau action. Okay. All okay. Right. All right. Rock, paper, paper scissors, scissors, shoot. shoot. That's a rock. <laughs> All right, that was a bad example of my That's rock paper scissors I... skills. I'm usually bad. At that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Actually, I think this is a game of chance. Uh, <laughs> you got I'm lucky, just, dude. My chance is I go rock every time. You know? <laughs> That's my chance. So See, I, I should have looked at you and known that. Yeah, that, that's not a whatever. That's not a. I should have known that exactly. <laughs> Hey, you good? I'm glad that you told me that. So now, if we're ever debating on something, I'll be like, "Rock, paper, scissors, bitch." And then I'll be like, "I know he's gonna go rock every time." <laughs> I know you don't remember that, dude. Dude, but what if we? What if you do? What if you're playing multiple rounds? You can't go rock. You go rock every single time. Dude, you, yeah, you, I go rock every single time. He changes them up. They're like, "All right, he's not gonna go rock for the third time." For the sixth time, you is he gonna go right? Rock? I'm going rock. <laughs> I'm always going rock. And everyone that's listening to this now, I'm still going rock when we play rock paper scissors. You know, dude, I won't stop going rock. You know those people that I would always ooh, hate. They'd be ooh. like, "Dude, no, rock paper doesn't beat rock." You're <laughs> like, <laughs> like, okay, yeah, like we get it, but yeah. like. We're just trying to win a couple almonds from your lunch here, Josh. Yeah, exactly. Jeffrey. Like we're not we trying don't, to make a math. We're not equation. trying to get fucking philosophical. Just play the fucking game, yeah. man. Fucking uh, speaking of children, children. Speaking of children. Nice. I like that segue. But oh, this headline says police say commander of a neo-Nazi group linked to planned attack on CNN was only 13 years old. Damn, what dude. in the fuck is this? What in the fuck? What in the fuck? Dude, wait. So we got a 13-year-old neo-Nazi uh, racist guy that's planning an attack. Apparently, what is he gonna? Is he gonna show up with an airsoft gun? Like, what? What is this 13-year-old? What is what, what? What attack is he planning? Estonian police arrested the stealth, self-styled commander. It was an online neo-Nazi group linked to deadly plots in Nevada uh, to a U.S. soldier who allegedly planted a bomb in CNN's headquarters. So this guy was trying to plot with other people to plant bombs in CNN's headquarters, apparently. Dude, is this one of those things where, like, 
the FBI gets online <laughs> and then like completely entraps somebody into like doing like one of these fake plans and then they're like, boom, we got you. And it's like, all right, like this guy probably would have never done that if you weren't online like, like convincing him. him. And they'll be like, yeah, he like tried to back out like 14 <laughs> times. And yeah. then like the FBI's just like, no, do it, do it. And they're like, <laughs> We got his ass. <laughs> like, like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Everyone's leaving the Facebook group. Eh, this is not a good idea. I like all people. You know, racism's stupid. And like the one FBI goes, no, guys, let's do this. Yeah, yeah white pride, <laughs> white power. Yeah, they're like, you know what? On second thought, I'm really like feeling kind of iffy about this. Like, no, <laughs> like, kill the Jews. <laughs> You're like, well, who's the real bad guy here? Yep. Yeah, yeah, this is getting fishy. His account was Heil Hitler 881 for <laughs> <laughs> so he's not being covert about dude this is just some 13 year old edge lord that's just yeah he's you know probably like ra- he's on his, yeah he's on his computer elder scrolls right here yeah and he's just like this and they bust in got him and he's like what they dude, got me i will say the, the every once in a while you're on Elder scrolls you just see the text chat come up and it's, it'll be zone chat it's just people talking politics and they're just like, you know, talking it like, uh, it's just crazy. It's like, yeah. that's your forum for like political debate, Elder Scrolls Online? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, what does the fucking world come to? You I, know? Yeah, I forgot we were an Elder Scrolls podcast now. We're yeah, doing we're, that. we're the, the official Elder Scrolls podcast. Yeah, dude, uh, like I was saying last time, we got random people walking around that were just like talking like, yeah, bitch, you're a bitch, dude, dude. My Frosty's gonna come kill your ass, dude. Well, He's gonna ban you. It started your out with some, the kid was rapping on the mic. Yeah, <laughs> and then they start roasting them. They're like, "Dude, you're like, you're not gonna get signed, bro. Like, you're trash. Like, <laughs> dude, you're fucking, you're rapping on Elder Scrolls. Like, do something with your life." He's like, "Well, at least I'm doing something with my life, being creative." And then and once like, that <laughs> flag was down, it's like, "Oh, you think you're doing something? I'm yeah. doing something. No, yeah. you're on Elder Scrolls. No, you're on Elder Scrolls. Just a big pissing contest. Yeah. No, that's my favorite thing. Whenever you're playing a game, and then like." They try to roast you for playing that game. It's like you're playing the game too. Like you know, like yeah. Like, <laughs> Why don't you get a life, dude? You're level sixty five. I'm fifty five. So what? Yeah. <laughs> I spent fourteen hours. I don't know. It's fucking fucking crazy shit. Hey, but you want to pull that back up, Jamie? Be- Jamie, I was, pull up I was that gonna video. Do that. So this is that commentator again. We could just do a cheeky look at him, but he's just commentating on real life things because he can't go on sports. But I just love this guy. Let's just go back to him. He's just awesome. Let's just get him. Check out. Will you join me live at Middle Class Arena? Ollie and Sally O'Connell, Trolley and Basket. Southeast Halloumi buying champions last year, but work to do. And this is Andy and Alison Davis. They've got some beef. Probably best we cut away. Now then, Sue Wilson here. Such a tricky event, this. The crudité conundrum. Gone with a slab of pate there. That's a safe choice. But so many homicides. Is in the modern game. Um, I think we're going to see a refusal here. <laughs> yeah, and he, he's not doing as good as he was, but he's still trying. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's just he's just making something out of absolutely nothing. I I, I can't. Uh, what is the sport that's going on there? <laughs> you know, like yeah. Whenever it was they, the people on the crosswalk, yeah, that was fire because it's like, all right, this is actually a race, and people are just unaware that they're participating in it. <laughs> you know, but then whenever it's just a lady just browsing hummus. Yeah, that's not exciting. How at all. can you be the champion of browsing hummus? You get the best deal you, in the oh. quickest <laughs> amount of time. Like at super couponing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, you think you think that shit really works? Like the extreme couponer people, like they like go into the store and then like fill up like ten shopping yeah, carts because and they then, have all the coupons. And then they the store will like pay them money. Like it's like it's crazy, dude. <laughs> <laughs> they get enough coupons where they're like, I have 18 coupons. Dude, I swear, they're like taking money out of the cash register and like giving it to them. It's like people that have windmills in their backyard that the energy people pay them when they get energy. Oh, yeah, that's that's fire. That is pretty awesome. I was thinking about Dude, that. If you have if you have solar panels on your house, the government pays you money. That's beast. Yeah. Uh, we should get so some ugly, of those. though, dude. I like them. <laughs> dude, no, I feel like you dri- you're driving, you see like a nice house and it's got solar panels on the roof. You're like... Ugh. Really? It's, it's uh, aesthetically unpleasing to me. Maybe they can make them better in the future, like, like blend just, in. Like, they'll just look like shingles or something? I don't see how you think they don't look good, though. They just look like glass to me. You know, they don't, if anything, it, just, it looks better than, like, shingles. No, dude, to me, that's what a roof is supposed to look like. 
Shingles. Roofs are supposed to look like shingles. What the Unless fuck is Unless you're building in like a Spanish look? style, and then they have those little like tile things, you know, like on LSU's campus. Yeah. Is that Spanish? Yeah. I don't like those no, no, either. It, I think it's French. I think tin roof's the best. Don't you have a tin roof on your house? Do you like it? Yeah. You know, it'll track lightning, but that's cool. I think that's a myth. Have you been struck by lightning at your house? No. See? Uh, myth, dude. Mythical. Is that a tin roof? Did you know? Oh, those are... Those, Oh, those are solar panels. See, that's a nice way of it blending in. What? That is that's a really nice panels? way. That's crazy. That looks good. So, yeah, I guess maybe they're getting better at it, you know? I really like that. I do say that looks good. That's a good dog. Hey, did you know that it's like like 99% of lightning never touches the ground? Where does it go? It just stops? Yeah, just in the air. Jamie, pull up that video. <laughs> no, it's true, dude. I, I, I've never heard of that. I feel like I've I, those crazy storms that have been happening lately. Um, in my parents' neighborhood, some lady just got her house like one night she was just sleeping, and a tree just came into her house recently. But yeah. I was thinking about I got those two monsters in my front yard. Those could annihilate me. Dude, my friend has uh, a tree company, and he's always like posting stuff on a Snapchat story of like these emergency jobs, you know. Where he, it'll be like four in the morning, he's like taking a tree out of someone's roof. And it's, dude, I mean, just in Baton Rouge, it's every single day oh, somebody yeah. has a fucking tree on their house. Yeah. And these are just the ones that, just the people that are calling him. It's not like he's the only yeah. company. So, like, you can only imagine how many fucking trees are falling on people's houses. One of my friends had a tree fall on his house like a couple months ago. Like, and I just went over there yesterday when, like, whenever I got back from the camp and uh, it was, like just had to be getting fixed, but it was like months, and they had to like live in a hotel Jesus and stuff, Christ. dude. I mean, lightning doesn't help. This says lightning strikes the ground approximately twenty five million times each year in the U.S., according to NWS. I guess that's uh, some National cr- Weather Service. Yeah, uh, but they say that if your average life is eighty years. Then you have a one in one point two million chance of being struck by lightning, dude. You know that guy that got struck by lightning like nine times? No. Yeah, dude. There's there's a guy. <laughs> 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 no, nah, he's like he's like the I read it in like a Guinness book. I was like maybe like a Ripley's Believe It or Not or something like that. But it was yeah. like the unluckiest man in the world struck by lightning like nine different times. Oh my god! And that then, must suck dick. Dude, and you figure like what you like figure out whenever you read the story is that he was like one of those guys that would go work up on those uh, on like the like cell towers or like you know like yeah, the yeah, yeah. those really tall towers. Like he was seven times. Jesus Christ. Yeah, but he was climbing up those really tall things, and that was how he got struck by lightning a couple. Is this times. guy Thor? Is this Thor? <laughs> um, he was yeah. No one ever witnessed any of the strikes. Oh. But they were able to verify it enough to where they awarded him the most lightning strikes survived. Damn, dude. He was alone every single time. It's a little fishy, man. Yeah, and that makes a good pickup line. Lightning struck me seven times. I don't think it does. Yeah, it's like... Oh, wow. Okay, strike number six. Let's see. He was walking along a park trail in 1976 when he was struck a six. So he was walking in the park, and he was struck a sixth time? It was the final straw for a spark ranger? Oh, I guess he was a park ranger, and they were making a pun. that He's a spark ranger. Oh, my God. I think that one's bullshit. Just strike six. Are you kidding me? Okay, wait. He died of a self-inflicted gunshot wound? Oh, damn. It says that getting struck by lightning seven times or 4.1 in... uh, I can't even say that number. That's like quadruple drillion. Quadruple drillion, dude. Okay. That's that's just (laughs) Yeah, quadruple drillion. Yeah. That's That's a real thing. That guy's fucked. Dude, yeah, you got... It's like one in a Googleplex, one in infinity, basically. What the fuck? What in the fuck? 
<laughs> Speaking of, do we want to go into our new segment? No, okay, but <laughs> <laughs> just tell me that you got struck by lightning once. I would never go outside in the rain again. Never. Like I got struck by lightning once. I'm I'm gonna be very careful. Like if I see any clouds in the sky, it I'm, would traumatize you. Yeah, you're a gonna be person. careful. Like I just I don't know. I don't believe this. Guy. And he didn't look scathed at all. You think that's somebody that was? I mean, he did. Was, he did kill himself. So that picture of him when he just looked like a mindy fine person. Like yeah, a, he might have just gotten a blowjob that morning or something. I don't know. <laughs> He just didn't look hardcore enough for me, honestly. Well, anyways, all right. What we so got I'm here? calling bullshit. Were you calling bullshit on that, too? I think I'm calling bullshit. All right. Move my laptop a little bit. Let's check out this. All right, so what in the fuck? It's your favorite segment. It explains itself. Let's check out this video. Oh, dude. Yeah. <laughs> we got a man in an ice ice machine. An uh, ice driller? He's, he's drilling a hole in the ice with, like, a big drill. It's got a motor on it. Okay. He's, he's now sitting on the top of it, and, uh, is he about to do this? Go, 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 oh, go, here he goes. Go, go, go. Yeah. Dude, no way. <laughs> what in the fuck? Dude, no way. <laughs> Dude, that was so awesome when he gets full speed and he's like, he gets full, like, circular gravity or whatever. Dude, he was about to fucking take off like a helicopter. <laughs> that was crazy. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's pretty insane. Dude, you wanna know what? I, I, you, you like memes? Yeah. Everybody likes memes, you know? Yeah, a good, wholesome meme. A good meme is just, it's nice, it makes you laugh. What I've really been hating lately is fucking this TikTok craze that's going on. Everything is just a TikTok. Like, all the meme accounts that I follow, they're just reposting TikToks. And it's like, TikTok is like the new Vine, like, mm -hmm. basically. But I I hated Vine, and I hate TikTok. I hate this. Like, it's like if you do it, doing a dance move, is that's not funny. That's not a meme, you know? <laughs> like... I don't know. It's, it's just, taking away from the true. It's memes. taking away from the meme. It's too easy for these accounts. They're just reposting a TikTok, and like they're, they're just not funny to me. Yeah, I don't there's know. definitely something there. The whole arm movements and stuff. I I get you there. I don't really, I don't really follow it. I feel like it's a language in itself, you know. And they're like, "Ha, huh, she did a truffle shuffle with a mixed shuffle kick stutter." No, dude. You know what, what it saying? is? It's that uh, they it'll just be some random ass song. Okay, if you go listen to like. If you just turn on pop radio, like what what was a pop radio station? 102.5 or something like that? I think, yeah. Yeah, it's all just songs that have been featured on TikTok. So you think that TikTok is actually merging with like the music industry, music industry and the social media. So like all the most popular songs are the ones that people can TikTok to. Yes. All of them. That's all the popular songs. Is and then the songs that are really good at TikToking and they have fancy. They have like words that are like kind of like you. You'll be just be. I'll just be listening to a song. And I'm like, how do I know this song? And it's because I've heard it in a million TikTok, vi TikTok videos. That like, and I don't even have TikTok, but you can't avoid it. It's just fucking. It's just it's here. It's queer, <laughs> and it's ready to drink some beer, dude. <laughs> And I don't know. I don't like it. Uh, you know, I heard it. Yeah, I don't know. It's definitely pretty. I don't. I don't, I don't watch enough TikTok videos. I I feel like I see more memes of someone like fucking up a TikTok video. Well, see, that's I guess the ones that are somewhat enjoyable. It's just like are they find like somebody just doing like this just cringy ass bullshit on TikTok and then yeah. like post that like basically making fun of that person. Yeah. I enjoyed that, like yeah. you know, because you have you. I can only enjoy it ironically, you know. Yeah, I cannot un un enjoy un un ironically enjoy a TikTok, <laughs> and it's just all these people that have no business dancing are like posting it, and it's all the same dance moves. <laughs> but dude, and it's crazy. Like people are getting so famous, like off of these this off the TikTok because it's like a worldwide thing. Mm -hmm. So it's like you know, it's all across the world, and like I know, like uh, one of my friend's sisters has like. 400 500 thousand followers on her tiktok jesus yeah i know it's like it's crazy dude like i couldn't imagine like and the thing is is like 
400k it's like that's not even that, that famous anymore it's like you know you got you have like millions and then you're like big balling status yeah honestly it kind of it's just like if you're that young and you have like what you're like oh i can get this many people's attention 400,000 people's attention by like doing dance moves and like have nothing to do with what i say or think about the world at all or anything that has to do with my brain running but I, as long as i can move my body to the beat of some songs that's what gets the attention of everyone dude it's i think it's just like the fast paced style of that like of the scrolling thing it's like the instagram like it's never endless. It's in never ending content that you can just keep scrolling. You just keep scrolling. Yeah. And it's just like, you know, you just never ends. It's just more stuff. And it's like not even stuff that I'm necessarily interested in. But like if I just open up my phone that, and I just see that Instagram app, sometimes I'm just like unintentionally going and opening it. You oh, know, yeah, and dude. it's like I set up to where it just makes your brain just like so addicting. And yeah. then they make mess with the app. Like it used to be with Instagram, they would just post a feed like it would just be a you post and then it's just a feed whatever got posted first that's what shows up first now it's based off of like engagement like with the posts and stuff so a lot of times the stuff that you're seeing would have been posted days ago but they're like setting up an algorithm basically to like where they can put like the really popular posts yeah like up first that like it keeps you on there like yeah. longer you know yeah 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 and i don't even follow that many accounts like i mean i follow like 500 people i think mm -hmm. and I it I've it's never ending. Like I never see the same thing twice. You know. Yeah. So I don't know. I feel like that it this all this analytics and stuff. It just it's like something that just keeps people's attention. It's like the familiarity of the songs and stuff. I don't know, dude. Some like weird mental thing. <clears throat> yeah, I see where you're going with this. It's it's different than what's like happening before, like with just normal social media and Twitter and stuff. Where yeah. Or it's like YouTube, you used to just play a video and then the, the video would end. And if you didn't click anything else, then that was it. But now YouTube, as if you if you press play on a video, it never stops. Like you can fall asleep, you'll wake up in the morning and you're watching some like dude in India build a mud hut. And you're like, dude, I, I was like listening to like fucking Led Zeppelin. Like what 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 yeah. happened? Like <laughs> Dude, those videos are beast. I mean, speaking of India, we have another what the fuck. Oh wait, dude, how can we not talk about Kim Jong un? Oh, we do need to talk about that. But this is India real fast. Okay, yeah, we'll get back to it. Uh so for audio listeners, it looks like the captions stay the fuck at home and uh let's just watch this. I think it's gonna be uh Oh God! Oh, he coming! Oh Lord! Oh, oh, oh. It's a man beating other men with his stick. Oh, oh! They get the stragglers. What? Oh. What the fuck? So they were obviously at a temple, and the man's just whacking these people at a stick. That guy got his shoes. You saw that? Yeah. The other people are just saying, "Fuck it." Fuck it! Oh, he's <laughs> <just> <laughs> that, that, that guy's like, "Oh, fuck it." <laughs> oh, oh, that guy just dodged it. What in the fuck? Dude, what? Why? Okay, they're leaving. They get it. Like, did they all? They get away. The whack is like their punishment. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're like they're getting spanked. <laughs> Dude, but I like how all of them sprinted in the beginning. Like he hit one person <laughs> and they all flocked. Like, dude, you don't all at the sprint. Like he's one guy. <laughs> dude, it's just I don't know. Uh, what about Kim Jong Un though? You think he's? They they're saying like I've seen a bunch of memes with the guy from Game of Thrones. Like, uh, the 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 healer or whatever and he's like yeah he's fine uh he whatever Dude, they you, say you you played warzone at all uh-uh okay well like so whenever you die in warzone you go to the gulag right and it's just it is a 1v1 versus someone else that's died yeah and if you win then you get to go back like into the game you know like because mm -hmm. like it's battle royale style so they're like you know, everybody was saying that Kim Jong Un is dead, and then uh, the Korean people are like, "Oh no, he's more alive than ever." And then they're like, "Your boy just clutched the gulag." Like, <laughs> <laughs> or I've seen I've seen memes where they like it's uh him like it's, it's Kim Jong Un with sunglasses on, and uh, he's being like held up by the two guys from <laughs> Weekend at Bernie's, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and they're like, "Nah, dude, he's totally good." <laughs> Dude, I, I want to watch that movie again. Good oh, movie, so man. this is the news article saying that it's rumored to be dead. Yeah, Brain dude. dead or just fine. Oh, dude. Okay, I just, I read that wrong. The way that it, the headline is set up, it said, I thought it was saying Kim Jong rumored uh, 
Kim Jong unrumored to be dead. I'm like, how can you be unrumored? <laughs> like, oh, Kim Jong un rumored to be dead, brain dead or just fine. I think he's definitely dead, right? How the fuck are we gonna know if he's dead or not? Because it's like they're already such a secret society that that country to begin with. But I feel you would be just the natural. You would the, that's what you would guess. That would be the natural thing is that you would think that if Kim Jong Un died. Then he's they would gonna, keep it low. Then they would keep it low. Like that's exactly the move that you would expect them to do. Yeah. Like they'd be like, oh, nah, he's straight. And then you seen the picture of uh, his sister or whatever that's supposed to be like next in line, dude. Like it, she looks way. She looks so fucking scary. Like, really? Oh, dude. She, yeah. She. I looks, haven't heard about the sister, dude. She's compared to, to than like Jim the Montre- Rocket Man Doughboy that uh, <laughs> like that is Kim Jong. Like this is. He, she looks like, all right, she's about to fuck some shit up, son. Damn, bro. I mean, he seemed to calm down where it used to be like much more in the news. And then Donald Trump like went over there and stuff. That's crazy. That, I, I don't know. That's his sister? The one on the right? Yeah. Look, that picture at the top right, that's the picture that I saw where you're just like, oh, oh God. Like, this, that's oof. Oof. Yeah, but I mean the pictures where she's like smiling, it looks less bad. But that one picture especially looks like a cold blooded killer. She looks like uh, she'd send your meal back if you cooked it for her. Oh, know? dude, a hundred percent, definitely, dude. I saw this video of this girl that was like working at Starbucks. She's like, "This is what it's like to work at Starbucks." Uh, I just caught this on video, and some girl's like, "Um, I just ordered non fat milk." And uh, she, she's like, oh, yes, ma'am. I, I just made that with non-fat milk. And she's like, I come here every fucking day. I can taste if it's non-fat or it's fat milk. And then they ask, like, yes, ma'am, I can remain. She's like, no, you don't understand. I, I'm running late like that. And then just chunks the drink at the fucking Starbucks worker. Jesus Christ. Like, can you imagine how? Fuck you, kid. You're a dick. Like, what your ego would have to be like to think that. Like, that's acceptable behavior. The lady's already saying she'll make it for you. Like, remake it, like, saying yes, ma'am, being polite. And then yeah. you just, like, chunk. Uh, like, uh, what? That's just, that's crazy, dude. Some people think that's, they deserve that. That's yeah. the fuck thing. No, definitely. Some people are just difficult to just be difficult. Like, yeah. I remember, <laughs> like, we had this one customer whenever I was working uh, at, at, the, at the restaurant. He's like, let me get a... Uh, Steak, like we're running a steak special. He's going to get the steak special uh, rare. So I'm like, okay, rare. So then we bring it out, and he's like, this isn't rare. Like, this is overcooked. Like, it was pretty rare. Like, you know? Yeah. As as rare as, you know? And then he's like, no, this is overcooked. So then we bring him out a second steak. Like, no, this is too rare. And then, like, the guy's like, well, my, I, like, I bring it back in the kitchen. Our, the guy cooking, he's like, Dude, like, what, how, how, I just want me to serve him a raw piece of meat? <laughs> and then he's like, yeah, like, just, I mean, put it on both sides so I can bring it out. Like, that's how he ate that bitch, dude. Nah. Like, yes. Like, literally, they, like, 30 seconds on each side, maybe, and brought it out. And I'm like, is, I feel like that this guy is not enjoying his meal just so that he could send his food back twice. Yeah. You know, like, that's some, like, sort of, like, fle- he's, like, flexing, being, like. I can eat that. Uh, yeah, like, you know, like, oh, like. Yeah, you don't. I, I do it different. Yeah, you know? like I don't know. That can't be enjoyable, dude. You know how lucky we are to be now in 2020. In some cases, I I, I watched Django last night, but uh, that was just thinking about that. That made me think about how the Southern courtesies and hospitalities and stuff is so fucked. All that shit was so fucked back then. There was like, like when you Southern ho- hospitality is fucked. Oh well, I mean Southern hospitality by. I guess I was watching, talking about this, how they treated the slaves. Oh, honestly, well, I, I wouldn't call that southern hospitality. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, the people in Louisiana, they just got them southern hospitality. You know, the thing where they hate black people and don't treat them as uh, equal. Yeah, uh, that's that old fashioned southern hospitality. You know, <laughs> you know that thing they do where they're racist as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that old fashioned southern hospitality. <laughs> no, but they used to be like, more wine, more wine. And like, you know, they still do that in restaurants nowadays, but never mind. No, <laughs> I guess I get what you're saying. Uh, uh, southern brutality. Wait, dude, what's the movie where like 
the end of the movie is the guy like beating the other guy to death with a bowling pin. Is that in Django? Not with the bowling pin. Dude, it's like the guy has like a he ha- it's like an old timey movie like that. Like, you know, like it's like a period piece. And then like he's in a bowling out al- like he has a bowling alley in his house. And then he just like beats the shit out of the other dude with a bowling pin. That's definitely not Django. <laughs> okay. But um I don't know, just a random thought. I don't know. Uh Kingpin. That's the movie? Oh. Oh. I I don't really think it was a very bowling themed movie. Dude, what the fuck are we even talking about? I'm talking uh, so the, the people at home, they know what I'm talking about. They're screaming at me. Um anyways, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Why is state so uh, racist is Louisiana? Oh, what? Hey, wait, okay, we're not the only one. Also, uh what is it? Kentucky? They're also racist. Yeah, they're racist too. Is that Kentucky? Yeah. Okay. This Yeah. Oh, yeah, Tennessee. Dude, God, I'm so bad at geography. I could Why does not Alabama fill out a map. say good on it? I don't believe this map anymore. Why is Alabama so good? No, yeah, it says good. It also says, why is Alaska so expensive? What the fuck? I don't believe anything they say, but... Dude, uh, is Alaska expensive? I don't know. I thought it would be, like, cheap living out in Alaska. Move my laptop. Yeah, but, like, I feel like a house in Alaska wouldn't be, like... I feel like, a, like real estate in Alaska, like... I don't know. I don't know. Hawaii is expensive, dude. One of my friends just got a job in Hawaii. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that's, like, how sick is that? That's like, awesome. Yeah, you know, it's like... <laughs> Yeah, just applied for like a bunch of different jobs. Mm-hmm. Got a job in fucking Hawaii. I don't even really know what he's doing, but like, he's moving to Hawaii. That's gonna be expensive though, for sure. Yeah, but I think that he's. It's like a really good job. I think that's that, lit. Yeah. Yeah, he's me. You know, single guy. You know, probably doesn't <laughs> need much. Cost of living is low. He's gonna go out there and meet some fine Hawaiian bitch, have some Hawaiian children, surfing and shit on the weekends. I got a spam list calling me there. How about we go to Good Dog, Bad, Bad dog. dog? or the Good Dog? Yeah, sure. Why not? It's everybody's favorite segment. That's Kim Jong-un's sister's favorite. Uh, you give us a good topic at NiceDogPodcast at gmail.com, and we'll say if it's good or bad. Uh, first up, we've got Dickies. The pants. Yeah, just don't. Dickies? Uh... Man, I fucking love Dickies. See, the thing that I love about Dickies is the nice... You know, you buy a pair of Dickies. It's a, got a nice crease on those Dickies, you know? Yeah. And just that big... It's, they're creased. They're hard. They're rigid pants. They're, you know... What I really like is the Dickie suits. I've never worn them, honestly. They, you ever seen a guy in a Dickie suit? He's like... He's going to be fixing something or the other. Yeah, that's a good blue collared guy. Yeah. What? See, I, what I think is that I want to buy the Dickies company and turn it into more of like a luxury type thing. Like, stop selling the clothes at Walmart. Like, make it into more of like a, yeah, a street, high like class. a hype, like street brand. You know, like <laughs> yeah. Supreme, but like Dickies. And then, like, Champion. And then every, like, my favorite is the shorts. That, like, they're so big that you're like, are those pants or shorts? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ever see those? Dicky shorts. Let me see. Dicky shorts. Yeah, dude. Dicky shorts. So, you, so you, yeah, I, I know those. Those shorts that, um, it's like, you see the janitors wearing and stuff like that. Shit, yeah, dude. I mean, like, it's just a blue collar thing. Like, you need some clothes. See? Dude, those bitches go down so long, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know. They're like the longest shorts ever. And I feel like that they even make it they probably got a guy with long legs to be the model. Because like on me, I swear to God, they go to your down to your shins, you know? <laughs> well, uh I'm guessing that's a good dog. Yeah, dude, good, good dog. dog. Good, good, good do- nice. Well, uh up next, we've got <laughs> Murderless <laughs> Miami. Miami goes seven weeks without a murder for the first time in 1957. This seems like a pretty obvious one, but bad uh, dog or the good dog. Bad dog or the good dog. Uh, dude, I feel like that just—it's not a good look for Miami, you know. Vice City, mm-hmm. um, yeah, 
I think <laughs> Miami's about drugs, partying, guns, big asses, uh, yeah. Lamborghinis. Yeah, if you were looking to get killed, you go there. You go to Miami. You want to get into some high shit trouble, you know, some some cool shit. Yeah. Go to Miami. Yeah, some risky shit. Yeah, risky. It's risky. like yeah, that's the thing. It's like Miami's like a place where it's like uh, it's a big risk, but it's a big reward, you mm. know? Yep. You could be at the top of your game just with a scarface amount of blow on your desk, just like with like home invasion. Yeah. Yeah, I sh- I don't know. It just it, maybe it Miami's have a gone good- soft on us. Maybe maybe so. Maybe Do you think so. that there's other cities or like that have no murders now or like I want are people still getting murdered in New Orleans like since the Rona outbreak well it seems like more people here are getting murdered more yeah, yeah there's been a lot of murders that has happened here is this like now's the time to I don't think so I'm not gonna <laughs> tell you. but Dude. apparently people do <laughs> no it's like you go like you shoot somebody like with like fucking like just blow a hole in them and like call the cops and be like yeah, I think we could just drop from the Rona. Like, you know, <laughs> show up. Like, you know, he's like, obviously got a bullet hole. You're like, no, dude, it was the Rona. I'm telling you. Like, <laughs> <laughs> or like, well, yeah, what that guy did with his wife. Remember? He's like, yeah, I think she's got the Rona. She's going to be gone for a while. I don't know. She just disappeared. And you just, I mean, they're calling a lot of deaths related to Corona when they might not even really be. So, yeah, you're right. Maybe that's it. Yeah, Maybe. good dog. Good dog. Hey, be wait, bad wait. dog. Bad, bad, bad dog. dog. Bad dog. Bad, bad, bad dog. You gotta get back to yourself, Miami. Get back to yourself. Uh, well, speaking of laws, we got excessive laws is the next one. Uh, in China, apparently, you can be sentenced for to death for stealing manhole covers. Bad dog. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Dude, for some reason, I'm fine with this. I mean, it's just like, I, there's no reason to steal a manhole cover. There's no reason to do it. The thing is, like, if that was a law in America, I'd be fine with it. Because it just, it's never would have crossed my mind to steal a manhole cover. Like, it, I would know. never do that. I don't think anyone should. There's no reason for it. Uh, so, yeah, why not? Fucking, like, is that even a pro? Is that something that was happening a lot? Like, <laughs> yeah, apparently it was. Uh, the 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 the, uh, the Supreme Court, the People's Supreme Court of the China, said that they need to be enforcing, penalizing people more strictly because they they've been found to have no manhole covers recently, and the, <laughs> the removal or destruction of manhole. What are they cover- doing with them? Are they selling them from scrap metal? I'm guessing. Like, dude, that's gotta be like what, like thirty bucks. I guess it's not bad, dude. If you have no money, 30 bucks is a lot <laughs> more than nothing. There's a Trailer Park Boys episode where they steal manual covers. <laughs> really? <laughs> dude, yeah, that's some totally fucking just dirty shit right there, you know? Yeah, and they're stealing steel. Uh-huh, get it? We're stealing steel, Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> is that what it is? They're made out of steel? Yeah, 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 okay. yeah. At least in Canada. Yeah, so the maximum penalty is the death sentence. You steal about eight of these bitches and you're just being sentenced to death. Dude, just go to the drive thru and you just, they're like, uh, yeah, all right, that'll be 1275. You're like, how about a hash coin? <laughs> <laughs> how about a hash coin? Shit. Well, so that's a good, good dog. dog. You know, China's, uh, they, they got the laws at least, you know? Dude, hash coins are actually such a good idea. And I think that actually now that everybody smokes, we should just be using hash coins. Because it's like, <laughs> you can just give it to someone else, or you can smoke it if you want. Like, you know, smoke half of it, and now you got half a hash coin. Yeah. You know, it's a, it's, a, it's a currency that's actually backed by something. You can actually do something with the money. It's, it has value. Jesus. No, I agree. I think hash coins is the, re- the, the up-and-coming thing. Something Fuck you can bitcoins, do. dude. We need hash coins. Well, in, in the time where the shit hits the fan, you can smoke it. Right, exactly. It's still it's always going to have its value. You know, do a couple hot knives on the stove. You People know? are always going to want weed, you know? Yeah. And, like, in a nice hash coin, there's nothing better. Get the fuck. Yeah, dude. And everybody acts like, you know... Dude, I feel like if you don't smoke nowadays, you're kind of in the minority. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Yeah, even kids are doing it, you know? Yeah. I saw last... <laughs> 
But uh, nice, good dog, bad dog. It was very good. Do we want to go to Did You Know? Yeah, dude, mm. for sure. Mm. Let's get learned. Mm. We some... found out something mm. that y'all don't know, motherfuckers. Did you know that ancient Egypt had a pregnancy test? What? Yeah. Dude, okay, the more I hear about this ancient Egypt, it seems like they're pretty advanced. 3,500 years ago, they were able to tell if you're pregnant or not by peeing into a bag of wheat. What? Um, I didn't read this, so let's f figure this out together. One filled with barley and the other filled with wheat. Okay, and how so, does this, if the wheat grows, then you're pregnant? So, yeah, so they urinate into two different bags, one with barley and the other with wheat. If the grain bag either sprouted or began... If the grain bag sprouted after peed on, the woman was definitely with child and could start planning. But wait, in order to tell the sex of the new child, the woman would just see if the grain sprouted first. If the barley sprouted faster, the baby would be a boy. If the wheat sprouted faster, it would be a girl. What in the... What in the fuck? Like, you don't hear about this, but apparently Egypt had it, dog. It says it was accurate about 70% 70, 70 of the time. Jesus Christ. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Dude, Yeah, I, I read that they found some uh, batteries in, like, an ancient Egyptian cave, like, from fucking, like... 15 like trillion years ago yeah. and it's like it was like fucking like these like pots and they had like metal on them and stuff and like these like certain like chemicals or whatever that like would have produced electricity damn like, similar to like you know how like people would make like a clock a potato clock yeah you know it was like something like that like they, they had figured out so dude they knew about like electricity and shit like that's crazy and then the jews happened and then the jews happened and the rest is history. Yeah, they should have just asked the Egyptians to be a part of the religion rather than just <laughs> not letting them in. Yeah, because the Egyptians they were the they were enslaving the Jews, yeah. right? And then they're like, "Let my people go." Yeah. Then the Pharaoh's heart turned to stone. You yeah, know? and the Pharaoh is like, "I just wanted an invitation to be a part of your religion, dude." Okay, so what movie is that? That like to, that? It's like all about that. You know, what I'm talking about like, is it Moses is or it something the like that? Animated one? No, no, the non-animated one. The non-animated one. Um, the Red Sea. I don't know. Yeah, but you know what I'm talking yeah. about with all that shit. And yeah, then like, the five. Dude, the fun. Like, this is the thing that I don't get. So in the Bible, it even says this. It's like the uh, the Egyptian emperor, like. Uh, like, you know, he's like, oh, how do you know? Like, he's trying to prove to the Egyptian emperor that, like, my God's real and stuff. Yeah. So, like, his his dudes would, like, do, like, some magic. And then they, like, and then, like, Moses, like, turns his staff, like, into a snake. Like, and they, and then, like, they're like, oh, wow, like, your God, like, is, like, powerful. Yeah, 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 I remember his that His snakes, like, eat both the other snakes that they had just conjured. And I'm like, dude, wait. So, like, what? when did we stop being able to, like, conjure snakes and shit like that? <laughs> you know? Like it's it's fucked. It, it's, like, it, it's like it's like the magic died somewhere, you know. Yeah. Like like imagine how baller that would be. You just be like, God, like you got my back right now. All right, like throw your staff on the ground and it just becomes a snake. And you're just like, yeah, fuck yeah, Pharaoh. Like, that's like just completely big dicked his snakes. Like, <laughs> and they're like, wow, like, like your God. It, see penis. the Baghdad battery. Yeah, I think I've heard about this. Yeah. Uh, other other name for the bombs they put off the bed. <laughs> it encapsulates a copper cylinder, uh, iron rod. Okay, yeah, and it's got evidence of corrosion in the acidic liquid, and they're they're making fucking batteries, man. Dude, I'm honestly more interested in that advertisement: baking bread with Vikings. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'd fuck with that. Upcoming uh, webinars. A picture there's a guy in a full Vikings outfit. <laughs> okay, today we've got barley. <laughs> First, you chug a pint of mead. <laughs> <laughs> and then you rape and pillage. <laughs> and just steal the bread off their table. And that's how you get bread with Vikings. <laughs> 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 that's breaking bread with Vikings. Conquer. <laughs> Damn, dude. What? So wait, what, what did we learn? Uh, 
you can pee in barley. Oh yeah, meat okay, okay. And I find out I if you know everything tests. about a child. That's fucked. I'd rather pee in my own face than that. <laughs> <laughs> just to see what it tastes like. No, to find out. Oh, yep, that's a boy. Yeah, you just it, give it a little taste test. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, that's some diesel. <laughs> yeah, you're like, ooh, I need to quit drinking. <laughs> I wonder how fucked I am. Yep, that's that's dehydrated. What are we at? We must be at two hours now, or something like that. An hour? Word, I mean, I think... Oh, I wanted y'all to try this fucking... LaCroix ruined my fucking week, and I bought this pack of... Oh. Well, there's a murderer. Wait, they shot a <laughs> cop? That, this guy... Sh the ex execution style. What the fuck? Damn. Right, so we just got an article of a suspected accused of killing the police officer. Wow, that's fucked up. It was an execution? Damn, that's fucked. Dude, well, you know That what? happened recently, y'all. Shit. After standoff? Who knows? Two police officers were rushed to the hospital this afternoon after they were shot in Baton Rouge, oh, Louisiana. Wow. Other officers were responding to a call when they say someone opened fire. Officials say there is an active oh, search underway this is not right good. now for the gunman. The condition of the officers is unknown at this time. We're going to bring you an so This is recently we got two police officers shot in Baton Rouge. Oof. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of hard to make this funny. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> bad dog. Bad, bad dog. No, definitely. Yeah, I mean, that shit's going on in our backyard. We should be aware of it. You know, that's fucked up. You know? I like, mean, look, I, anybody getting shot yeah. is n not good, dude. That's Especially when you're, you're at work, you die. You know, just another day on the clock. You know, think you're going to come home that day. Yeah, Never that, make it back. This is not Miami, you know? No, this is not Miami. We're still killing over here in the uh, old dirty BR. That's crazy. That is fucking crazy. Um, shit, dog. Well, but to end it on a better note, I got this LaCroix that fucking ruined my week. Do you want to try it? Yeah, let's try right, it. I'm going to go get this LaCroix because... Dude, I'm usually a big fan. I'm, I'm always cranking the seltzers whenever I'm over here. You, you always got a stock. Yeah, but now I'm pissed. <laughs> Robbie said he's pissed. <laughs> All right, I'm excited uh, about this this seltzer. I mean, maybe I shouldn't be excited. Oh, the uh, you know that's the, that's one of those things about getting drunk is that whenever you know the other night, you don't really always remember uh what exactly happened. But I definitely did get really fucked up this weekend, so much so that we had to. Postpone the fucking podcast yesterday. All right. Here we All right. So, yeah, just read that out for the viewers because I want LaCroix to get fucked out for this. It's a we LaCroix got a, a limoncello. 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 What is limoncello? They have never failed me before, but this is a miscreant yeah, is, of a seltzer. This is really good. Oh, fuck off, Shane. Shane likes it. It tastes like trash. They put something in it that just ruined my... Ruined my taste for LaCroix. And I'm just... All right. This is a little... Let's go. Let's little go. little sniff test. It tastes like a dessert or something. Like it's too sweet. Yeah, you what know? is that? That's the cello. That's the cello. <laughs> I'm not about that. I saw lemon. Maybe I needed to look it up. Yeah, first. it's got like that vanilla aftertaste. Yeah, yeah, fuck that. It's not not ideal. I would definitely wouldn't pick this one. No, I'm throwing them away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. I guess say yeah, save them for <laughs> Shane. <laughs> you know, yeah, you can take them, please. That was the point of this. <laughs> Ruin my week, LaCroix, you know, and now I gotta come on this goddamn podcast. Oh, dude, yeah, it's hard. I don't yeah, think I can get through terrible. it. Yeah, throw it away. That shit's bad. Well, bad dog to that. Bad, 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 bad dog. Oh, yeah, I mean, the other night, shit, we, me and my friends, we went to the, uh, we went to the camp. We were, we, we just were, we're gonna get a change of scenery, you know, we go out to nice... Pierre Part, Louisiana, on uh, Lake Verret, I think Pierre it is. Park. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so we showed up. We like it, we showed up with just it was just three of us, and we decided we went to the liquor store. We bought 
uh, handle of Jameson, a fifth of screwball, like that peanut butter whiskey. Oh. It's pretty good, actually. And then <laughs> in a case of Bud Light. Mm. Then we had a couple other friends coming in to join us. They showed up. We had not talked to each other about like alcohol or anything. Or guess, like, guess what they showed up with whenever they were at, like, whenever they got there? A handle of Jameson and a fifth of peanut butter whiskey. Jesus dude, Christ. Like, <laughs> dude, we did not talk about it at all. And they were like, yeah, dude, we were like at the store, like debating on it. Like, we picked up like at least like four different bottles, and this is what they ended up with. Like, I don't know. It was just crazy. So we were all on the same wavelength. Yeah. And dude, we just got absolutely fucking, fucking plastered. Yeah. <laughs> like we were like catching catfish and like boiling crawfish and like just like ah. <laughs> <laughs> like I saw some video of me just like I was dancing with my shirt off. <laughs> like I mean, I guess you could call it dancing. I was definitely moving my body a lot. <laughs> and like <laughs> I don't know, dude. It was just, it was so fucked. Yeah. And like, you know, you're just getting bit by mosquitoes, so you just drink more to not worry about the mosquitoes. Yeah. You know, and that definitely works. And then like, we just fucking, the f- like we, we did it for one night, and then the next day we like woke up, started drinking again. We stayed up all night. Jesus. We Christ. didn't go to sleep. We stayed up drinking all night. I blacked out and blacked in like two or three times. <laughs> no. And then, yeah, we're like, we're leaving the camp. And like every, I'm still drunk. Everyone else is like all hung over and shit. Like they're all pissed. I'm like, "What's up, guys? Like, <laughs> why was the why the long faces, motherfuckers? <laughs> like, you know?" And they're like, "Shut the fuck up!" Uh, yeah. Like, you know. Jesus. Oof, that was a rough car ride home. Yeah, Jesus. and then I got bit in the face by my friend's dog. In the face? Yeah. Like you see, you see oh, this? Oh yeah. Yeah. Little little bite mark. Damn. But I was still drunk, so it didn't really hurt. <laughs> then I was just like, oh, whoa, calm down there, buster. And then my friend's like, yo, like your face is bleeding. I was like, you're right. <laughs> like, it is. <laughs> Dude, I don't know if I could not go to sleep if I get that hammered, though. Like you went throughout the whole night. Well, that's the thing is I've been staying up till like 4 or 5 in the morning anyways. Anyway, yeah. But no, I mean, I probably went to bed at like 9 a.m. or something like that. Jesus. And then like woke up at like 11. They're like, we're leaving. I was just like, ugh. Oh. Okay. Yeah, and I was like, podcast at six. You're like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got it. No, it was uh, it was fucking really rough, dude. Really rough. Slept all day yesterday. And then, obviously, you sleep all day. You can't go to sleep again. Yeah. So, uh, again, I stayed up till like <laughs> six in the morning, probably. Something like Jesus that. Jesus Christ. Because, dude, my sleep schedule was just so fucked. But then, like, I, we, I woke up pretty early today. I mean, like, considering what time I went to sleep, yeah. woken up at 11, so I feel like that I should be able to get some good sleep tonight if I don't go too hard on Elder Scrolls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got to get that daily dungeon in. Oh, definitely, Everyone's definitely. Everyone's pissed off. I switched from tank to attack. Now I can't get one. I can't get in a dungeon by myself. <laughs> it's fucked up. What do we got here? What do we got? What is this, a dog? Oh... Uh, <laughs> That's the Saturday night feeling, dude. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely, <laughs> dude. Oh, the worst feeling is just like I waking up and then like I'm just like looking at my phone, like oh, let me make sure like I didn't like call anybody or like yeah. you know do something like just crazy stupid, you know. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I haven't been up all night in a while. That's crazy, dude. I swear to God, at one point in the night, we're like, yeah, dude. Let's get some strippers over here. <laughs> <laughs> we're in like pure part, like the middle of nowhere. We're like, yeah, we need, so that'd be lit. Like, yeah, like, uh, I'll throw a hundred on it. Like, <laughs> and so my friend just types it to his phone, pussy near me. <laughs> just like Google that shit. <laughs> pussy near me, dude. <laughs> it's fucking insane. Dude, but those are the nights you live for. The stories that you tell afterwards that are just like, you can't make that shit up. You know, like. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it's a Google search we all can live for. I can't believe you're still drinking that heresy. It's disgusting. <laughs> shit. Yeah, the more I drink it, the more I don't like it. Actually, Dude, it's not good. It's, it's not, not good. It's not good at all. Lacroix, you hear me? You got that? You have that lighter? Yeah. Lit. No Ooh. pun intended. No pun intended. Oh uh, shit. Well. I do have to edit this and record for Garrett tonight. He's doing a senior project here. Okay, bet. Yeah, I, I got to pee. Uh, pretty bad. <laughs> pretty bad, but I was, you know, whatever. 
Uh, it's fucking been a banger, dude. Yeah. We got that that vibe. I was really We're back. excited. Yeah. yeah, this is fire. We're back at it again. We're gonna do better. Uh, I'm yeah, popping off. You yeah. stupid bitch. Well, I'm happy need to get that Hillary Clinton <laughs> drop. Like, do better. <laughs> No, we're uh, we're glad to be back. <laughs> and uh, we'll be keeping coming at you again. We'll uh, we'll upload that Mario Party thing. This oh, week. okay, bet. Yeah, no, that'll be sick. Uh, yeah, thanks all for tuning in. It's Email us at nice dog at gmail Leave a voice message at two two five three four seven five. Give us a good dog, bad dog. You know, uh, send us a picture of your girlfriend's tits. Let's do it, baby. Either way. All right, peace. It's a nice dog podcast. Thank you.